So you're probably imagining at this time in the year, you're running a race and you've got the summer holidays just in front of you and you can almost taste the summer holidays, but you have the exams in front of you. So I'm gonna go through today my three top tips for year seven, year eight and year nine. So you can do really, really well in those end of year examinations and get the grade that you deserve. Right, number one is of course time management. Now, what do I mean by time management? Well, have a look at the paper you're doing. So if it's 60 marks, 60 minutes, you have one minute per question. If you actually, for example, have 60 marks over 75 minutes, that would be slightly different. So you need to think, okay, how much time do I have for each question and be ruthless? Now, what do I mean by that? So if you have a question that's four marks, then you can spend about four or even five minutes on that particular question. If you spend too long on that question, move on. You move on to the next question and make sure you have enough time to complete the entire exam. That's really, really crucial to make sure you can show exactly what you can do. Number two, of course, is making sure that you have your number skills strong. Now, what do I mean by having number skills strong? Then please do check out the video above where I go through the all of year eight skills that you need on number and algebra, which are pretty similar also for years seven and nine. So making sure you can do that long multiplication, long division, working with basic fractions and percentages and decimals, and really make sure you have those secure so then you can apply those to worded questions in your exam. And number three, which is obviously not to be forgotten, is to make sure you do not leave blanks. Don't do it. Don't leave blanks. Make sure you put at least something down that makes sense for every single question. Now, if you want some more guidance on that, then please do check out the video above where I go through what kind of things should you write depending on the question you have. So it's a really, really important skill. Make sure you're putting down some answer for every question, because that could be the difference between getting a grade B and a grade A, or even a grade A and a grade A star. So what do you think about my tips? Then of course, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Best of luck for those exams. Really show what you can do. Again, all that revision you've been doing since September, all that learning that you've been doing, that's coming to a head now and making sure you're ready for that next year, whether you're going into year eight, year nine, or even onto the IGCSE courses. Best of luck and I'll see you on the other side.